coming soon to a state near you on the East Coast or the Midwestern United States. Cicadas! That's right, you guessed it. Today we'll be talking about cicadas. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to Stemagear so that you'll be the first to know when an, an awesome Stemagear video comes out. And now back to today's topic, cicadas. So what are cicadas? In some parts of the world, we've been hearing about them more and more on the news. Cicadas are a specific type of insect that primarily lives underground. According to the National Geographic, cicadas have a few distinguishing factors, like large bodies, wide heads, clear wings, and compound eyes, which are eyes that have a lot of subunits and that function as mini eyeballs. And they have specific sounds that they make too. Also, another important thing to know is that there are over 3,400 different species of cicadas. That's a lot of variety. Some cicadas are what we call periodical cicadas, meaning that they only emerge after a number of years, for example, 17 years. Periodical cicadas are grouped into what we call broods. The name of a brood is based on a cicada's life cycle, geography, and the year they emerge. And one more important note is that broods are named using Roman numerals. Now that we have a basic overview of what a cicada is, let's talk about the life cycle of a cicada to really understand what their life is like. The life of a cicada begins when an adult female has mated and creates a small opening on a twig or tree branch where she lays her eggs. The tree that houses the cicada eggs then becomes the host plant. The eggs sit for about six to 10 weeks and then the cicadas hatch from the eggs. When they hatch, they're called nymphs. The nymphs then fall from the tree to the ground below. They then dig a hole into the soil and feed on plant roots. The time that it takes the, the nymphs to feed varies depending on the type of cicada we're talking about. Some types of cicadas may feed for three to five years, while others may feed for about 13 to 17 years, such as brood 10. While the temperature of the soil eight inches below the surface rises above 64 degrees Fahrenheit or 17.8 degrees Celsius, the cicadas then crawl up and out of the soil and onto the ground above. After that, the cicadas climb firmly onto a tree nearby so they can break out of their exoskeleton, which is the outer shell that covers the nymph. The cicadas leave their shell at the place where they emerged. Their wings unfold and their skin becomes tougher. Once that happens, the nymphs become imigos, which is a fancy word for cicada adults. So what happens next? Male cicadas start making really distinct noises. In fact, you and I can hear it. It's really loud. In fact, scientists say that their noise levels can reach up to 90 to 100 decibels, which is about as loud as a lawnmower. You might ask, why do male cicadas make such a loud sound? Well, they're trying to get attention from those female cicadas so that they can reproduce. But male cicadas have about two to four weeks to mate. Once reproduction happens, the cycle starts all over again. And the end. That is the story of the cicada. Now that we have learned what cicadas are and we understand their life cycle, you may ask, what's all the fuss about cicadas? Why are we hearing more about cicadas on the news in the United States? Well, it's because in the United States, there, are specific, there is a specific brood that is emerging right now as I'm making this video. It's called Brood 10. Billions of trillions of cicadas will emerge as part of Brood 10. And 15 states in the United States and the District of Columbia will be affected. This variant only appears every 13 or 17 years and is the largest variant of the cicada species. So now you've learned all about cicadas and why they've been in the news lately. So let's test your knowledge with some quiz questions. True or false, a locust is a common name for a cicada. If you said false, you are correct. In the United States, people may sometimes confuse locusts with cicadas. However, they are different. A locust is actually a type of grasshopper. According to the National Geographic, locusts form in large swarms, which are large groups of insects. 
Logans feed on and destroy crops, which causes a substantial amount of damage. Plagues of locusts date all the way back to ancient Egypt, but the confusion between locusts and cicadas in the United States may have started when the early colonists came to the United States many years ago, and they thought cicadas were actually locusts. Imagine that. Let's test your knowledge with another quiz question. True or false? Humans eat cicadas. The answer is true. Some scientists say that cicadas are an alternate source of protein. According to a recent CBS News article, some Native American populations in the past used cicadas as a food source during times of starvation and hardship. So now you know all about cicadas and their life cycle and some really cool facts. Thanks for joining me in this STEM Age adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and drop a like if you enjoyed this video. If you have topics you'd like to see for future STEM Age videos, you can send an email to STEM at Outlook.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.